I wasn't to be disturbed until... Mr. Lee, you're back. Leave me! Project Muti, private files accessed. Confirm. Delete all files. Files deleted. It is over, Lee. Ten years ago, you betrayed my master. I have come to collect the information he paid for. Y you're too late! That information is now gone. I'm out of the cloning business. Permanently! Then you have betrayed him again, and you will pay the price. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like all my clones, you're flawed, and you have failed! All your clones. I have no past, no family, not even a face of my own. All I have is my duty to my master, and now I shall fulfill it. Cart sort of got away from us. Cray? Cray <gasps> Kingston? Mrs. Ross? I haven't seen you since I babysat you and your brothers. <gasps> Remember how you used to suck your thumb? Oh, and what happened to your blankie? <gasps> Cray, you carry that everywhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> Alpha Express coming through. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Ross. We gotta go. Uh, oh. Say hi to your folks for me. What's up, Garrett? Something fast need testing to the breaking point? Axel, you need to come to the lab now. There's someone here who wants to see you. <sighs> it's Lee. Keep him there. I'm on my way. Sorry, guys. Gotta go. I got a date with the past. We found him outside on the pavement. 
The hard light suit saved him from the fall, but something went wrong. The impact seems to have somehow fused him with the hard light in the suit. His body is actually absorbing the hard light energy little by little. If we shut it off, he might not be able to take the shock. And if we leave it on, the hard light might consume him completely. And there's something else. What do you mean? I don't know. The fall. It did something to his mind, too. It's almost like he's his old self, like before he went off the deep end. Axel. <sighs> Cookies! Granola! Three seaweed bars! One bag of chips! Hey! One baby! Uh, I don't remember buying a baby. Yo! Oh, Mrs. Ross, I'm glad you... Yeah, he's with us. Don't worry, he's fine. But I, I, I don't know the first thing, but... Sure, sure. Just till you can pick him up later. We'd be happy to watch him. <gasps> Surf's up, dude. Got a photo shoot. Yep. We'd all be happy to watch him. <laughs> It's all gone, Axel. Everything. My company. My new team. My research. My life's work. Yeah, well, uh, maybe it was the wrong work. Garrett said you wanted to see me? Axel, I want... I need you to understand what I did. All of it. I was trying, in my way, to do something good for mankind. But maybe I went too far. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? I seem to be turning into my own invention. Hard light. Consumed by my work, so to speak. <laughs> Soon I may become my greatest experiment ever. Mr. Lee, uh, tell me what happened to my dad. Uh, uh, Sebastian was my friend. I was chief scientist of the Chrysalis Project, the government's top secret plan to create a genetic super soldier. Your dad was security liaison. We became good friends. I even used your father's DNA to make my first clone, Dragon. Sebastian never knew. But I wasn't willing to stop with just one. I wanted to fill the world with my creations. But I needed more money than the government would grant. So I took money from an international criminal syndicate, the Serpent's Tale in exchange for government cloning secrets. Your father caught me. I offered him anything to keep quiet. He refused. He was about to expose everything. But the serpent's tail found out, and they would stop at nothing to protect their investment, including sacrificing your father and his partner, Alexander Payne. Axel, you can be sure your father fought bravely. The serpent's tail never fights fair. So it's true. My father really is. No. Axel, I'm sorry. Get in here! Come on, you guys have been gone for an hour! And I don't see why it takes three people to buy baby food! Uh, yeah, yeah, of course I'm watching him. He's right over... Uh, I'll get right back to you. Uh... No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <sighs> Here, boy. Come on. And now where did you... Oh, no! We're back! 
We got formula baby food and uh, a hawk. You lost this. Oh no, no way. I will drive a car off a burning bridge, I'll base jump a skyscraper. The Hawkster does not do diapers. <laughs> the hard light conversion is accelerating. There's just no way to reverse it. You said the Serpent's Tail ordered the hit on my dad, but who are they? Who's their leader? I don't know. After what happened to Sebastian, I didn't want anything more to do with them. So I quit the project and told them I hadn't found anything of value. But six months ago, they learned I had lied. So they sent Dragon to find me. Yesterday, he did. Axel, I'm... I'm sorry. Axel! What are you gonna do? Find the leader of the Serpent's Tail. And serve up some revenge. Oh, gross! Ha! Oh. <laughs> That's my boy! Oh, I can't believe he's actually eating those seaweed bars! He's not just eating them, he's loving them! Come on, Shark, you lost fair and square! Okay, okay! I'll put him to bed! Come on, little dude, <sighs> nap time! Serpent, I presume. Have you come to finish the job your errand boy started? What on wheels is going on? Just got the little dude to sleep. Ugh. We must talk. Huh? Dragon? Shh. I've come to say goodbye. My work here is completed. I heard. What did you do to Lee? My duty. Lee had to be punished for what he did to my master and to your father. You're wrong. Lee didn't destroy my father. Your master did. No. It's... it's not true. My master would not lie to me. He would not have ordered your father's destruction. <laughs> oh, alas, dragon. I am afraid young Manning is correct. Master. Juan, you're the leader of the Serpent's Tale? Yeah. <laughs> it seems our life paths cross at many points. I promise you, this will be the last. Go on! <laughs> Oh, your tempo weakens you. You fight like an upset child. So why don't you show me how a loony old man fights? Do not. Oh, no, dragon. Young Manning must learn for himself. Jolan <laughs> Tolikin! Master, your fight was with Lee, not Axel. He's nothing to you. No, not so. He has made himself my enemy. But I am reasonable. I will spare Axel and his friends if he gives me the power scroll of Jolan. Not a chance, Quan. Especially not to the man who took out my father. <laughs> took out your father? Who said your father was dead? On the contrary, he is very much alive. Alive? What? But you will not be around to see him. Ah! Oh! 
That's where you're wrong. Five against two? Oh, this will not do. Shark, where's the baby? Little dude's asleep in the hydraulics. So, if one of these guys slams us? Try to pass out quietly. Change your diet. Where's my father? You are full of questions. No wonder you are never at rest. Whoa! <laughs> Well, Axel, I shall simply destroy you and find the scroll at my leisure. <laughs> no! Dragon! Dragon? Dragon! <sighs> Dragon Manny. You have done this, and you will pay. Area is completely flooded. There's no going back. Ah, uh, Axe, think maybe you can Jolan us away out of here? Uh uh. The only Jolan warrior powerful enough to smash through that just tried to smash through me. Axel. Axel. Uh, Axel? It's got nothing to do with me. Hello, Axel. Mr. 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 Lee? In a way, looks like science has given me a means to make amends for all I've done. Starting now. Sure, but I get the feeling we'll be seeing it again. It'll have to be someplace else. Looks like we're gonna be needing a new home. Axel, my master, 
Is he gone? I uh, hope he's not been too much trouble. Uh, nothing we couldn't handle. Little dude was no trouble at all. Oh my goodness. I think he's trying to speak. His first word. <laughs> oh, he said dude. <laughs> <laughs> Well played, young Manning. This game goes to you, but we shall play again. 